Okay. I think it's the first time you've seen the panels laid out out on the table at the same time. One of my signatures, and I like to do it, is putting bow ties in the panels. I've got a nice chunk of some really old bird's eye here. And I think I may put a nice bow tie in the top. I think we'll start that before we do the dovetail. Okay? Butterflies, bow ties, Dutchman, uh, they have many names. Uh, the Dutchman and the bow tie can have a flat area and it would look like a bow tie in the middle. Those are a little bit har harder. The more angles you add, the harder it gets. Um, these butterflies, I'm going to we'll put these in on the tabletop. One or two, I hadn't decided. I'm going to take the rafts and we'll start with the rough side and I'm going to clean the saw marks off. My intentions are to have about a degree, now this is extremely exaggerated, about a degree or three, a ah, degree to three degrees of inclination all the way around them. So as the, uh, when I excavate the area on the panel and I insert these in, they squeeze in the tighter they get and it will give it um, whoops let's go with it all right Now I'm going to stay inside the lines with my initial chisel. This first part is the most important. So I'm going to line the corner of my chisel with this outside edge. And get it just inside the pencil line. Straight up and down. give it a light tap. Alright, that's this line and this line. Now I'm going to go outside and do this outside line on the other side and get back with you. I've got both the insides done. Now I'm going to do the outside edge. Got it beveled down. My intentions are to just relieve what I've excavated. Once I get that relieved all the way around, then I'll be able to get into it a little bit harder, get a little bit deeper. All right, we've gone around once. We've established our chisel wall. We've excavated behind it. Now I'm going to come in with this three quarter and I'm going to go all the way around it, get a little deeper. Take a little out of here.
and I'm down enough and I've got a flat bottom I excavated another dial I love it when I do that you look at your glue work then it's almost there okay so now I'm going to take the rasp and I'm going to relieve just the edge get a bit of a bevel to where I can get it started and get her down in there and keep in mind once you get the fit where you feel that it's ready to go, you need to spread your glue and drive it. There's no test setting it and pulling it back out and putting it back in. Once it's done, it's done. Good or bad, it's done. Okay? So now we're just going to relieve this back edge a little bit with this rasp all the way around. Well, I think I'm going for it. lined up correctly prepare for the camera to bounce I think I did pretty good. The height difference. It's home. If we look at the edge, it's tight. I got a little, little rise in the cherry here where it pushed. But everywhere else, looking really good. Got the second one in, it's shoved down, it's in there, it's nice and tight. This one's still a little damp. It's probably been about two or three hours since I stuck that one in, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it. Um, shouldn't disturb it too bad. I'm just going to get on an edge, cut in, get on edge, cut in, edge, cut in, in, and just go around it till I meet in the middle. And the tape should keep me up off top of the surface a little bit, enough to where plane it down, card scrape it, being bird's eye, must be very gentle. nicely get back with you in a minute well, there you go it's got a little bit of inconsistencies in just a few spots but uh I do believe looks better than that one don't it I'm tired I'm going in I'll do that one tomorrow <laughs>